Good afternoon. Welcome to Rickmansworth in the sunshine. Now I'm just about to go into the loft to move some uh, things around. But I haven't been to this loft since I was very small, so I thought I'd take you into the loft. Is there actually enough room to live up there? Um, as you'll see. This here is Toby and his video blog. His surname's French, you may call him a frog. In his line of work, every day is quite hard. Click and subscribe and make him bigger than God. <clears throat> Welcome to another episode of Toby Stupid Vlog. But let's leave that one up in case. Welcome to the loft. She wants it. It's dark and there's a hole. There's a little space over there. It's bloody hot up here. It's about it's hotter than it is outside, I'd say. It's about 35 degrees. Yeah, big water tank here to warm the water. <laughs> There's right. all the rubbish we're moving around. Actually, we've made that really good, I think. Yeah. Really good. I'll put that under there. Because that'll support that a bit. Yeah, that's fine. So forget me not forest. And uh, Swiss sharp looks at And so, yes, which isn't getting a lot of light because there's too many, forget me not. It goes to seed at this time of year anyway, so They've spread into the back there as well. This is where the cat found the frog. Oh, yeah, I'm, I bet there's a lot of wildlife going on in here. Uh, it's raining rather heavily. Have, have a look at the river that's running down the road. Birdies are sitting oh, in a dear. lake. It's an ever growing lake, and there's a waterfall forming over there. Oh, Egg hunting. Yay! <laughs> If you see an egg, let me know. So that's what we got so far. Five. Five. Home in a couple of days, the bells. <laughs> Egg. Oh. Oh. So, found one. <laughs> so there's seven, eight. <laughs> We're egged. Right, so we are near Tring, as you can see from that sign. This is a place called Wiggington. Okay. Um, we're heading off. It's not clear. We're looking at a map. Let's put it that way. So, we're in a field. <laughs> I don't know which way this is. We've passed the Icknell way. This might be somewhere towards Grimm's Dyke, above Tring. And this is kind of what you'd expect from an English summer, only it's um, still April. It's lovely and warm, full of big oak trees. Bluebells. Like a big version of 
the road, design wise. Yes, it goes along the stem and then I can't remember if the marmite um, the leaves go off like that. Yes, uh, yes, yes. yes. We saw a very funny looking oak tree here today. Mm. Oh. Picture there. And it was because it looks like normal oak leaves, but I can't off the leaves here. I'm up a tree. And believe me, here's the tree. And then technically it's on its side. But I'm still up the tree. It's a lovely piece of wood this. I mean not the tree, the woodland. <laughs> This is Grimm's dike, this dike here. Just so you know, it's an impressive dike. So is this now the Vale of Elves tree, basically? It is. It is. And it's down towards the Tring. Underneath the cliff, Sounds like Coming back towards Wiggington. The top of Wiggington this time. You can see up there in the background that's uh, redwood again giant redwood in the middle of a forest full of beach a bit out of place that's nice that mm. so we're pretty much back that's where we started by the cross and the st george's flag flying there because yesterday was st george's day fyi now we're going to Now we're going to go and have Pims in the garden. Why not? So that is Chorleywood House? Yes, it's just through there. Yeah. Yes, through there. People and these are the tennis courts. Flats. And we're going for a walk down there towards the Chess, the River Chess, the really Chess Valley. Yes, it's how long you last though, because people turn up and have to wait. And you have to find out. That's the only thing that that's the house and some random people here we are in the woods just down from Chorleywood house bluebells everywhere sun streaming through the trees heading down to the river very nice day again forgive my cold I've got a bit nasal can't bring around my nose Notice the half a tree in the center of the picture. Uh, it was so quiet. Um, and I'll take that house up there if anyone's got a spare couple of bob. You can lend me, I'll, I'll buy that. Cows come to drink at the river. And calves. He's brave. Lots of rabbits here. Yes, I can't see any of them, but I see the rabbit croppings. That roar is the M25 in the background. Even at the age of 74.
There they are. sort out isn't it? We need to take our file with us and all the things that you've made a whole list of things to, to discuss as well. Yeah. Welcome to the Heart Studio. Um, we've just been popping balloons uh, to give people tickets to see Jamie and Harriet but that's only moderately fun. What is much more fun is to see whether I can use these pair of scissors oh God, to burst that balloon over there. Um, the sort of circus skills that I might require in, in another career, okay? Did you realise that a guy who was shot out of a cannon yesterday didn't survive? True, I'm not going out of a cannon and nobody's throwing anything at me, although the rebound may kill, just to warn okay. you. Wow, amazing! That was very disappointing. Amazing! I am. Yeah, come on! Okay, we're going to try again. One last time! Come on now! Wow! Yes! That's amazing! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. This is a Fino yeah, Charlotte place. Sorry, got interrupted mid sentence. Very selfish. That was last night. That was Le, uh, Il Fino, or just Fino, sorry, on Charlotte Street in Soho. It was uh, Ryan and Crystal's first anniversary, which is why we're there. Very, very good restaurant, Spanish tapas. Awesome. Um, anyway, I'm just trying to give you a bit of flavour of what's going on here in Trafalgar Square. Because it's the Royal Wedding tomorrow, so... See, NBC News is over there. I've heard that um, CBS's Good Morning America is also here. And most of the American news organisations are camped out here somewhere. See if we can find George Lopidopolopidus. I'm assured it's around there somewhere. Stephanopoulos, that is. So there's NBC, MSNBC. That's a fountain, not going in there. MSNBC got some impressive studios set up. And that's the backdrop. You see, they can see the Houses of Parliament behind them, so quite a good spot. No sign of any reporters whose shot I can jump in front of. So uh, here we are on the tube. It's the morning, it's Friday morning, Royal Wedding morning. You'll notice how busy it is. <laughs> That's not because I live in the most Republican part of town. It's because it's 6.15, this is ridiculous. But the good news, of course, it being 6.15 at this time of year, is that it's perfectly light and there's absolutely no one around. So it's a bit eerie, it's a bit 28 days later, and, and I suppose maybe the tube driver's a zombie, but aside from that, it's, it's quite pleasant, you know. I think we could probably afford the clocks going forward another hour. Well, I thought I was about to be really clever there. I set up the camera and everything in the study, uh, filming out into the garden, and I thought, I will film myself flying my helicopter, which is down there, from the garden through the window of the study. Turns out... <laughs> Not too bad, but it turns out that he, that thing just will not fly in even the tiniest breeze. Like the tiniest breeze and it's like, whoa! Nearly killed a cat in fact, which would have been bad. Um, so, no footage to show you, because the thing just goes sideways, which is utterly pointless. Um, and it costs £200 to buy a helicopter that won't go sideways. So maybe, maybe put that whole plan on pause, indefinitely. Um, thought I should show you like, how the balcony's looking now. Yeah, horticulture for the win. Needs a bit of water, but those pants are looking good, don't you think? And the sun's come out, presumably to celebrate the royal wedding, what has just happened, and that.